Se der pedra aí. Hello everyone, how's it going? Today it's Sunday at Culinary Gardens. My plan today is to have no plan. So I will do random stuff in the garden, you know, the garden maintenance and whatever popping in my mind, I will just do it, tip it and edit the video later. I just moved the scented geranium from the original vegetable garden right there to the new raised bed right here because this spot have more sunlight. I make that little two trenches right there. Then I put fertilizer on the trench. On the trench, I will put potting mix right there on top of the organic fertilizer. There are two reasons why I use the potting mix on top of this trench. The first reason is because I want to make sure that on the side that I will direct so the marigold is super super clean and there's no weed seeds on it. Otherwise, I will have a lot of seed popping up mixing with the marigold. And the second reason is that I should not use an old potting mix or seedling mix for sowing seed in the next spring or next winter because it can develop like, you know, the mold or like disease or some kind of allergy or fungus you know on this old potting mix and that's why i wanna use all my potting mix that i have right now within this season so the next year i buy the new one which is gonna be more clean for the one that i already have i will use you know in my planters in something like this or sometimes i can just you know dump in the compost pile What you gonna cook today? What you gonna cook today? Get pot, Jah. I'll pay for what? Pay pot. I'll pay for the pot. Kana, moosap, Jah. Okay, Jah. Let's eat, Jah. Jah, can. And this is the giant orange marigold seed that I. We'll plant them now, so I can harvest the flowers for my Halloween bouquets. And I just put one or two seed next to each other. I'm not. I'm trying not to step on the raised bed because that will compact the soil on the flower bed. Then I sprinkle the potting mix lightly on the trench, just very lightly. And spray the trenches one more time. Don't soak them, okay? Just spray them. Another benefit of the trenches like this with the potting mix is that I can see very clearly which spot that I direct sow the marigold because of the perlite and the texture, you know, of the potting mix 
And I know for sure whatever germinate on those trenches are marigold seedlings. So Jason deadhead the roses. The reason that he deadhead the roses because if you don't deadhead them, they will go to seed. And when they go to seed, all the energy go to the seed, not to the re-blooming flowers. If you don't deadhead the roses, that is totally fine because the seed part, you see this little ball, they're so cute. Now they are green, but in fall, they will turn to like red, dark orange, or yellow, you know, depends on the type of roses. Then it will be like such a wonderful fall um, accent to your garden. Come like that. เราไม่กินใบเหรอกินแต่ไม่กินมันเยอะใบมันเยอะไปแล้วทํายังไงอ่ะฮะก็เอาเท่านั้นอ่ะก็คือเอาเท่านี้เหรอครับใช่กินเ
you know, they like keep eating the tip of the plant. And that's the second lesson that I learned from Choco Ball and Choco Chip. If I cut about two thirds of my yarrow plant in early spring, they will become more compact and the stem will be shorter and they will not flop in summer. This is the yarrow that Choco Ball and Choco Chip didn't eat in spring. You see the stem is very tall, which is perfect for cut flowers, you know. However, they flop like that. Okay. In comparison to the clump that Choco Ball and Choco Chip didn't eat in spring, you see it's compact. Thank you so much Choco Ball and Choco Chip. I love you. What are you doing? Yes. Thank you so much for the best thing. So one of the jobs that you can do in the garden on the weekend is to make your husband pull weeds. Good luck. Thank you very much. You're the best thing. That's okay. Thank you so much. Don't pull my flowers, please. So cute! Oh my god. That's just so one stone. Cute. That's one stone. That's best fertilizers, the <laughs> insect eggs. Oh my god, this is the cutest thing in the world. This is called um, bunny tail or hair tail grass. Look at that. Oh. So they start from like bunny white fluffy like this then they have to go through their life cycle you know like shedding the i don't know what is this it's like the white thing that come off then once they're done doing that process they will become like beautiful dry fluffy brownish color like that These clippers or pruners that Jason is using was my Christmas presents to him a few years ago and I guess he enjoyed them. English ivy has a very very nice polish and I can use them for Christmas time. However, they are invasive in New Jersey. So we grow them, you know, in a very contained space. I mean, we didn't grow them, but the previous owner plant them in a very contained space. Like right here, we have the bricks border that separate the lawn from the English ivy. So we will keep pruning them, you know, about three times a year to just you know give it a haircut if english ivy is not invasive i would love that so much because you know it's provide like a good landscape to my garden in summer in fall in winter they look green and last you know entire year can you imagine i don't have the flowers i don't have the shrubs you know the most of my trees, you know, drop the leaves, but I have this English ivy in winter time providing the green look to my garden. When we first moved in, the first time we uh, trimmed back all this ivy, um, it was completely covering all these cobblestones. So we didn't even know this was here. I mean, all these gardens are uh, 
lined with uh, these cobblestones. Some are bricks, some are cobblestones. Um, but yeah, that was a nice find because they make a nice border and it makes it easier to get like the line for the ivy cutting. I just kind of follow the stones. About two spoons of oyster sauce, one teaspoon of mushroom soy sauce, and Andy just put about half a cup of water. And she just put Chinese kale mixed with everything that is already in the wok. A little more water. And this is almost ready. Tomatoes. If you grow tomato, one thing that you can do this week is to keep them under control. On the tomato, there will be one main branch or main trunk going up. And then there will be like a little side shoot that try to go, you know, on the armpit of the tomato. So I will take that out because that's gonna suck all the energy from the tomatoes. Take it off. And this side branch, I let it grow for too long, way too long. So I am going to cut it off. Ah, there you go. And maybe take this bottom leaf out. Ooh. See that little side stems on the bottom? Take it out. And this is my ideal way to grow tomato. There's only one main trunk. Okay. Then I have the tomatoes right there. And then I keep pinching the armpit sucker. I will like one here. Take it off. Otherwise, it's gonna be like a big side branch. My goal is to have them go up. Same way as cucumber. For this part, I have two main stems. And it's cucumber right there already. And when it go up, I have two lines. And this is my favorite dahlia so far. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Look at that one. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's the fried chicken with the vegetable from our garden. I know. With the lettuce. Awesome. And this is for me like very spicy. Yeah. Pork with Chinese kale spicy. Thai food is our favorite and this is excellent. Awesome. Auntie, awesome. Auntie vegetables. is a wonderful cook. <laughs> Jason and Karina are great hosts. <laughs> very nice. Very, very nice. Thank you. Come on, thank you. Thank you. You are very welcome. You are very welcome. You are very welcome. Oh, very good. <laughs> very, good. <laughs> very good. Good try.
Oh my god, so good. Oh my god, so good. Thank you, MT. Seppi Lee. <laughs> Seppi Lee. Seppi Lee. Thank you. Almost gone. In yeah. like one yeah. second. <laughs> Look at my plate. Look at his plate. Yeah. <laughs> my plate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Good job. Last week, I got a terrible headache and back pain, but I did not stop working on my content. I did not take any sick time from my full-time job. I kept taking flower order, um, you know, and I just took the medicine and I hope that, you know, taking a nap would help. It helped a little bit, but it, it got worse and worse, you know, every day until like the end of the week, I could not do anything. My body struck me. My head, you know, still thinking like, I should do this, I want to do this, but my body wouldn't let me do anything else. There's only two things that make it better. It's just to close my eyes. Don't look at any screens, don't look at computer or my phone. And the second thing is just to walk around in the garden without phone, without making content, just doing the random thing. Now it's two o'clock and I think it's time for me to shut down. You know, stop making content, just walk in the garden, do whatever bring me joy, um, enjoy the flowers, hang around with the animals, the baby deers, chocolate ball and chocolate chip, the birds, the squirrels, the chipmunk. I am probably gonna put on my headphone and pull the weeds in this garden without any interruption. I am going to probably plant something in this spot. I'm probably gonna divide this succulent part. Probably gonna eat some blueberry. I'm probably gonna clean up the greenhouse if it rains. I'm probably gonna harvest some flowers for dry flowers. Or maybe just hang around in the cut flower garden. Or maybe jump in the pool to cool down. And I will see you in the next video. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!